everybody and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. You might ask why I'm standing in the weeds, because I cannot go beyond this fence. But if I were to go beyond this fence, I could show you the cottage in which Vladislav Remont, Nobel Prize winner in 1925, wrote the last part of his epic four-part series called Peasants, or Wopsy in Polish. Now, uh, Raymond wrote, besides that work, a very famous book in Poland called, and very important in Poland, called The Promised Land. In both books, he was examining the effect of a changing modern society, industrialism being, being part of that, on ordinary people. In Wapsi, it's people working on the land, and in the Promised Land, it's people working in the factories of the town of Łódź in central Poland. Now, as I said, Kwapsi is written in four parts, autumn, winter, spring, and summer. And the idea uh, of the novel is to portray the ordinary life of simple people in a small town, village, small village actually, near Warsaw. Near the, actually, it was based on his experience in the town of Skerniewice, which is south, uh, south and east, sorry, south and west of Warsaw. You know, sort of on the way to Wuch, I suppose. Now, uh, Ramont uh, was born in 1867. He died in 1925. He received, actually, the Nobel Prize in 1924. Um, and then died the next year. He had a heart condition, was not even able to attend the ceremony in Sweden. He was born to an impoverished noble family in Radomsko, which is a city south, uh, almost due south, on the road to, to, uh, uh, to Czestochowa. Um, he was born there in 1867. This was a very, a time of great change uh, throughout throughout Europe and the United States with uh, the railroad becoming, uh, becoming predominant as a means of transportation for goods and also factories uh, becoming uh, manufacturing, I suppose you'd say, becoming the main way of making things rather than by hand. Although a lot of uh, things were still made by hand, particularly by, by peasants. Now, you may also be familiar that uh, in the near future with a cartoonized version, an animated version of Huapsi from the same people who made the film about Vincent van Gogh. It's going to be entered uh, as a Polish uh, contribution to the Oscars. Right, so uh, that's all I've got right now. We're going to go around the back where I think we might get a little better view over the fence. We can't, I mean, you know, <laughs> In, in other days, I might have gone and knocked on the door because there are people who live there. Um, but uh, we're not here for a substantial enough time to really bother anyone and interview them. Besides, I think uh, this was only one place where Ramont lived, probably just seeking refuge from, uh, from well-wishers and admirers so he could finish writing. Because he was a very popular man in Poland and uh, a renowned writer throughout the world. I might add also that he... Uh, he won his Nobel Prize over George Bernard Shaw, uh, Thomas Mann, and uh, uh, Thomas Hardy. Uh, three pretty good writers, pretty, pretty good competition uh, uh, for any writer. At any rate, we'll go around and, uh, and have a look in the, in the back now. See you after the trailer.
Right, hi everybody. Welcome back. I mean, you know, it's a bit of literary detective work here, in a sense. It, it, you know, if you happen to be coming by, it might be worth it to have a look at the house. But there's lots of places where Rama uh, was, was working. I think what's even more interesting is just this, the local style of some of these wooden houses that goes back, you know, 100 years, 100, well, 130 years, 140 years. Um, they have their own, they have their own sort of look here in Otfox, uh, their own special style, which grew up along the railway between Otvotsk and, and Warsaw. In fact, today I know several people who live here go into Warsaw virtually every day. Um, although working remotely, people don't, don't have to go uh, every day like they used to uh, before COVID, as you know. Anyway, so it's the back of the house. So I, I, I can just picture that Mr. Mr. Ramont wandering around in the back in between, uh, uh, stretching his legs in between uh, uh, back-breaking work at his desk, uh, writing a book by in longhand. It must have been uh, must have been quite challenging. Right. So that's all I have for this particular episode. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, Otvotsk, by the way, if you want to come out this way, is very near to the park where we were filming uh, the previous couple of episodes. Um, that's the uh, uh, Bagno uh, Sawavani, uh, which means uh, the Kissing Swamp, where you'll find a nice piece of uh, desert-looking dunes, and you'll also find uh, a beautiful uh, bog, 14 kilometers by 3 kilometers wide, long by 14 long, 3 wide. Very interesting place. So, thank you for watching. After that, uh, you might want to come to this part of the world and, and get a day out from Warsaw. There's also a very nice park in the center of Otvotsk. There you are. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow night.